Okay, so I am back again for our puppy toilet training tip. This is number three for this week. So um, I've got a couple more to go, but this one is a really, um, it's a goodie. This is one of the big problems that some people have. They get a puppy that's basically, it's the puppy's been trained um, either intentionally or unintentionally to pee on something that they don't want the puppy to pee on. So... <laughs> So I'm going to just um, open it up to anybody who has anybody out there had this problem. So if you've got that question, um, you can comment and and I will I will help troubleshoot because this is a really um, it's a common issue that I help people with. It is definitely more of a process than if you've got a, a puppy who's kind of a blank slate which puppies are never really you've got you've got them from eight weeks old usually um, or older than that so they've actually done several weeks worth of learning before you even see your new puppy so that's that's one factor that people don't take into account um, particularly if you've got an older puppy or a rescue dog um, they may have had experiences um, where their their living arrangements were different so they will have different different rules that they think they should be living by and you know, they, they come into your household and, ah, well, guess what? <laughs> the rules are different. So um, fortunately, pups and dogs are really good at figuring that out. But it does help to know that that's, that's possibly what's going on. All right. So tip number three, use your puppy's preferences to your advantage. So if you've got a pup who is consistently going to a particular doormat or any doormat for that matter, and that's what they're using for their toilet, that's great. <laughs> You're probably not thinking it's that great, particularly if it's one of those fancy carpety door doormats that's not very easy to clean. But the good news is you can go to a, a carpet store, grab some offcuts if it's carpet, or go to Bunnings and get a cheapie, what, whatever is similar to, to the one that's being targeted. What you're going to have to do is get by without your rug or whatever it is for a little while, pick them up and substitute the one that you actually are wanting your puppy to pee on instead. You're going to put it in exactly the same spot. Now, if you have a carpeted house or rooms that are carpeted and you're not going to be able to move that carpet, so um, go back to tip number one, which is keep the puppy off of there so that they can't actually get there to pee. Um, I mean, have them out there when you're playing with them and stuff, but you're very quickly off that area when you're not directly supervising. Um, so for that situation, do go to the carpet store, buy carpet samples that are similar to your your regular room carpet, get a couple of them. Um, and you're going to put those down and use that preference because puppies that will just pee anywhere that's carpet, that's a preference. They're targeting carpet. They want to pee on carpet. So supply that and say, okay, pee on this. Um, you'll not need to use this piece of carpet for very long. Um, and you can just take it outside and hose it in between if you need to. Um, so that's why I say get a couple. <laughs> one of them's going to be out in the carpool or we're drying while the other one's down. Okay, so this is your, your toilet spot. This is where you want your puppy to go. Now, there are other surface preferences that puppies can have. Some of them will go on smooth floor. So if you've got like a lino or something like that, same deal. Get a sample. Um, uh, grass, like they won't go anywhere else except grass, or well, usually that's not a problem for people, but if you have got fake grass and you don't want the puppy going on the fake grass, that can be a problem for you. So there's all these surfaces, pavers. Some puppies have taught, been taught to, to go on pavers and you might not want that. So again, go and get materials that are similar, similar texture similar material uh, and that's going to be your go-to spot. So um, example is um, someone who's got an apartment so they don't have a lot of spare room. They want the puppy to go on the fake grass dog loo but the puppy's like no nah, that I'm not going on that. that that's not what I pee on. I always pee on carpet. <laughs> so you go down to the shops you buy the, the carpet squares what you're going to do, this is the process. 
And, and, and you know, if you've got any of these issues, do comment in because the, the, there's so many variations here. But you, what you're going to do is pick that spot. You're going to put that extra surface down. When your puppy goes to the spot, you are going to reward them. That was yesterday's tip. Reward your puppy for going in the right spot. Yes, they're going on the carpet square or the or, or the, the the square of pavers that you've set up and that's the spot that you want them to go in for now. So there's a couple of um, ways that you could go about this. Mainly if they're going on a surface, you want to use that surface, reward them for going on that surface, but have it in the right place. So if you want them to go outside in the garden bed, put down your surface, your carpet or whatever it is, in that spot, encourage them to go to it and reward them for going in that spot on their preferred surface. Once you've got that going, you are going to take your, your knife or whatever it is that'll cut this, this thing and you're going to chop it in half. It's in exactly the same spot that they have been using it and every time they go there, you're rewarding them. Once that is solid, and it might take a week, so again, you might have to get get some less gnarly um, carpet squares. You you want to go out and and make that a little bit smaller. So you know you can make it a third at a time if you want to, until you've got a little tiny piece that's you know this big. <laughs> They're going to miss. They can't possibly get all of that pea or that pile in the right spot completely. They're going to be aiming for it. It's just a token. And after that little token has been sitting out there for another week, you throw it out. And guess what? They might be sniffing around looking for that piece of carpet, but they've already gone in that spot, you know, how many, how many times? 20 times? And every time they've gone there, they've gotten a reward for it. So that is your tip number three, is use your puppy's surface preferences to your advantage. Get them going on that surface that they like. Just choose a, a more disposable, cleanable version. And then once they have started going on that target, start fading it out. You're going to make it gradually smaller and smaller until they're going on the surface you want them to. Okay, so um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. We're going to have another um, toilet training tip and I should be back around 12.30 so I will I will try and pop up a notification when I'm about to head on and I will see you on then. If you've got any questions in the meantime you can get in touch with me through dog training help um, and you can either send me a text or an email either way. I'll see you soon.